So with the Australian Open in the rearview mirror, we head over to the Middle East where we watch some of the biggest tournaments in the desert, including Abu Dhabi. We've got Dubai and uh, Doha as well coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, but we start with Abu Dhabi. It's the big event and a lot of big names are coming back for the first time since the Australian Open. But let's go have a look at the draw and who is actually pulled out of the draw. Only a couple names. So heading over to the withdrawal list, we only have two players that are pulled out. We've got Navarro and Paolini have both pulled out of this one. But let's head to the top of the draw because there are some massive names returning for the first time since Australia. So starting at the top of the draw, we've got got Rebakina, number one seed. We've got eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round, starting with Rebakina. She'll take on the winner of Osaka or a qualifier. And Naomi Osaka's only just come back. She's only played two or three events. So that is a crazy second round potentially for Osaka, but also crazy for Rebakina. Of course, didn't play great at the Australian Open. So that could be a really fun second round match. Then you got Wong versus Zhu. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number five seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. And again, Penko is also a very dangerous opponent. We know that, especially against Rabakina. They have some really great clashes. And they're also not very good friends. So that's what always makes it fun. Then you got Krajikova, the number four seed. She gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Kudamatova or another qualifier. Then you got Kalanina taking on Bedosa. Winner of that will take on either Sharenko or the number eight seed Samsonova in the second round. So a few qualifiers in this section of the draw, but some of the qualities that are still live as I'm recording this, Danielle Collins, she could be a qualifier that one of these players have to play. Also, Lyndon Nuskova, who of course made it to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, also could be a first round opponent. So you think Osaka versus Rabakina is crazy. It could be Collins versus Osaka. Winner plays Rabakina. So it could be even crazier if they qualify and it falls that way. Then we go over to the bottom half of the draw. You've got Kazakina, number seven C, taking on a quali. Winner of that match will take on another quali because all the qualifiers are stacked in this little section. Then you've got Garcia taking on Castillo. Winner of that will take on number three seed Zachary in the second round. Of course, Garcia only six months ago was in the top 10. So that's a crazy second round for Zachary. Unfortunately, didn't play great at the Australian Open. So... It's not going to get any easier for her. Then you've got the number six seed, Adaj Maya, taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either the wild card, Iala, or Lynette in the second round. Then you've got Buskova taking on Raducanu. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Ons Jabur, in the second round. Again, the top two seeds are getting some of the comeback players and some of the nightmares with Raducanu and Osaka. But Raducanu Jabur could be a really, really fun match. And of course, Emma Raducanu coming back for the first time. She played okay in Australia, you know, lost maybe surprisingly earlier than expected, but put her up against Ons Jabur. That could be a really fun match on day three or four. There it is. That is the draw for Abu Dhabi, and it's so stacked to start us off. First tournament, really, since the Australian Open that all the big names are coming back. Of course, we've got Dubai and Doha coming up over the next couple of weeks as well, where we've got Sviantek, we'll get Goff back in action, Sabalenka, of course, for the first time since winning the Australian Open. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? Because it doesn't seem as easy as just picking one of the top four, because the top two players have potentially really dangerous second round matches. So maybe someone like a Krajikova, who's number four seed, probably got the easiest draw, but unfortunately for her, she doesn't make it easy on herself when she plays. Maybe someone lower ranked, maybe it's an unseated player who wins this one, but it's a huge event in Abu Dhabi. And we're getting some of the big names coming back for the first time. 